This is how I find out how many. What that means is that if I want to make a scale starting on D, I'm going to write a letter name D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D. And I'll know that if I put two sharps in there, right, one, two, I'm going to get the key of D. Now, it's not just any two sharps though, right? So I've got to know which ones. So this gives this is one piece. How many? Now I've got to know which ones. In order to know that, I have to understand the order of sharps and flats. All right, we're going to learn to make those in the grand staff. So first you make a, a line over the left-hand side of your paper, and then you put a bracket on it. And you see I've drawn it from the top line of one staff to the bottom line of, of a staff below it. So I'm including two staffs. I'm going to put a treble clef in the top staff, a bass clef in the bottom staff. But now I have my green staff. All right, we'll do the, we'll do the order of sharps first. Now, the, very important, there's a, there's a specific order. There's also a specific way to place them on the staff. So it's not just any way, it has to be in a specific place. But here's the order. F, C, G, D, A, C, B. And F, C, G, D, A, E, B. Fat cats go down alleys eating bugs. Wait a minute. Father can get drunk at every bar. <laughs> Whatever you like. Some, there could be something about Elvis, too. I don't know that one. Doesn't matter. So as long as you get F, C, G, D, A, E, B, start with F, and we'll put the first F sharp right here, right on that top line of the treble clef. Let me just do the treble clef first, and then I'll come back and do the bass clef. So I go down to the third space for C sharp, up to the top of the staff for G sharp. So this is a this is where the G note is, right? So this is G sharp. To the fourth line for D sharp. To the second space for A sharp. Top fourth space for E sharp and the middle line, third <coughs> line for B sharp. Okay, that's why I want you to place those sharps. In triple clef, they always go there. All right, let's go down to the bass clef. Bass clef, the first sharp goes on the fourth line. C sharp goes on the second space. Fourth space for G sharp. Third line for D sharp. Hey, by the way, notice what I'm doing. So when I made, I, I should have said this before, but well, we had talked about this, but when I made the F sharp, notice how that F line goes right through the middle of the sharp, right? When I made the C sharp, you see it's right in the middle. So it's really clear what I'm talking about, right? I'm not just play, placing them anywhere. It's a very specific place on the staff. So I've got F, C, G, D, I go down for A, on the bottom space, up to the third space for E, and the second line for B sharp. So in bass clef, this is where they go, and it, you notice it's the same shape as we had in, in treble clef, right? So I started on F, I went down for C, up for G, down for D, down for A, up for E, down for B. So these are the order of sharps. Now I can tell you. All right, so how many sharps would be in the scale of D? Two. two. This tells you which ones. So it would be the first two. So it would be F sharp and C sharp. So it's going to be, which, they're going to go, always go right in order. So if there's one sharp, key of G, if I want to make a, a scale of G, what's the sharp going to be? 
first sharp F sharp. There's no G sharp in it, is there? 